Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And as you probably know, Privdinus has been released to old school RuneScape and with it, uh, a new gauntlet came to the game as well. So this video is going to be a guide on how to complete gauntlet, the easy mode, not the hard mode, and how to be like 100% successful at doing it. I'll commentate and explain what I do throughout the whole thing. Um, but I think I might upload another video just showcasing, you know, all the fun stuff uh, that happened during the quest. It was like a six hour long journey during the stream or whatever. But this video is just gonna be a guide for... a guide to how to do gauntlet pretty much. Um, it's gonna be very simple and I'm not gonna go into all the details. I'll just tell you exactly what to do and what items to get in order to complete them effectively every time. Uh, but if you're interested in what exact things you need to create things, you can just enter the gauntlet and read these two books and they explain you exactly what you need to create a certain thing. Uh, but if you follow my thing, we're just gonna have two uh, two potions, we're gonna have a basic uh, tier 1 gear with one tier 2 gear, and then we're gonna have a magic switch and a range switch most likely. So it's, it's very self-explanatory, I'll show you around, you should have zero problems completing it, and with that being said, let's just jump right into the game and let's show you you how I do things. Alright, so as soon as you enter, things might look a little bit weird for you. I suggest to you for the first game, just chill around, see what's up and, uh, you know, just uh, read the books, see what certain upgrades you can get and what will work for you. But I recommend you to get seven of each pieces, so seven roots, seven um, wool and seven uh, ore. Uh, because that way you can have a pretty upgraded gear, you're basically just missing one piece and it's honestly ideal, one, two, three, four, five, six, one more uh, of wood. Um, and that, it's all gonna make sense in a second when I show you exactly what to go for. Um, but for now we're just running around, so we also, you also wanna be killing things until you get your first, um, until you get your first, uh, key frame weapon thingy and from that you can make like a bow uh, usually I make a bow first but you always need two of those in a game because well with two of them you are able to create two weapons and since the boss protects from two attacks you're then able to alternate between the two to you know use them to your advantage so we need one more ore right here and then all we search for is wool I still didn't find any room with monsters uh, but we do need them to kill them and here we go here we're gonna have wool as well which is awesome I might just go and create this uh, first so that's going to be three, and then this one's going to be three more, and then we need one more somewhere. And we're also going to have two potions. I usually like to go for two potions, um, just because you don't need to worry about things at all if you do so. So this is just perfect start, pretty much. So I can just take, I'll take one potion, just for the sake of it, because if I find another wool, I'm just going to go and uh, teleport and drop stuff and do that. But firstly... I feel like here I'm just gonna kill monsters, try to get a uh, weapon frame. And with weapon frame we're gonna be able to obviously create our first weapon. I'm lagging and that's not nice. And there we go, we got a weapon frame. Okay, so I do still need to get one more um, wool, but we don't need it yet. So, okay, we, have, we don't have enough shards as well yet. But first, you wanna create a bow and then just make some armor, whatever you can. To start things off, whatever is going to make things a bit easier for you. We can also create a potion already. Um, we can only create one, but I'll make two. Um, because we're going to get shards as we go. So, you want to fill them up with water. You want to crush the shards. You want to put the herb into the vial. And you want to put shards into the thingy. Um, so, that's pretty much that. And now we go back on searching. We still need to find one more wool. And the rest, we still want to kill stuff to get one extra to get one extra wool, pretty much. I do think this is wool, this is Linum Tirinum. If you prefer me to say that, I can do that too. Um, linum Tirinum. Uh, so there's no Linum here, but there is another herb here. So we're gonna pick another herb, so we have two potions. Um, I think I can also create it, so there we go, there we go, and another potion. We can do this, and then I personally just use one as I run around, and then I have one ready for the boss fight, and it's usually enough. So here we're just gonna kill these pretty fast, try to get another weapon frame, and then after this, we're gonna actually be searching for upgrades. So there are three different medium bosses that you can kill, and they give you nice upgrades, and depending on what boss I get, and what upgrade they drop, I then decide what weapon upgrades I'll use. I personally prefer to have range and magic, but once again, if I get different medium bosses, I use whatever those bosses offer. So I'll show you what I mean uh, with that in just a second, as soon as we find the first boss. Usually it doesn't take long to get one, um, but for some reason, this run we're not that lucky. 
Um, nothing in this one as well. Just keep running around. We have six minutes left and we're almost fully prepared for the boss fight. Obviously, we will catch fish at the very end. I'll show you some cool tricks about that as well. Um, but for now, we're just running around trying to find one extra wool and uh, medium bosses. So nothing special in this one still. We're just running circles. It doesn't really matter. Everything feels RNG anyway, so... You're just running at this point, trying to find a medium boss. And I'm really unlucky this run, I swear. Usually, I would always find them. Uh, but right now, we are... You can always check the map as well. We're just gonna run north here uh, for a little bit of time. Uh, I'm not gonna be killing this rat yet, because you can get upgrades from, obviously, those medium bosses as well. When it comes to, like, uh, frames and stuff. Weapon frames. So, nothing in this one. Keep running north. Uh, nothing in this one as well. Keep running north. That's kind of crazy. Oh, I actually did one mistake and I forgot to buy a uh, crystal crystal seed. So if that happens to you and you are basically just... It, 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 I do mistakes, right? Because everyone will make mistakes. You can always just either run back or kill monsters to get the crystal seed. But this is the first medium boss. And from my experience so far, this one always drops the bow upgrade. I might be wrong. But if it's another bow upgrade, then I'm pretty certain that the Dark Beast always drops a bow upgrade. This might be wrong. Um, I haven't done enough... Uh, enough... Uh, what's it called? Enough gauntlet games to know if it's true or not. But if this is a string, I'm almost certain... Uh, yeah, it is a string again. So this one will always drop bow upgrades, I'm pretty sure. And as you can see, we also got the frame upgrade, which is sick. So with that, we can now create just about everything. And I'm gonna start making my way to the middle, which is 3 south, since I didn't buy a crystal seed. We still have a bunch of time left, 4 minutes should be more than enough. And we can now create our armor and upgrade our gear. And we don't have enough crystal shards to actually do all of that yet. Um, but we're, we're gonna do what we can. So first things first, I will probably just create a staff. Uh, just create a staff, so we do have those two weapons. I'll attune the staff, so make it better. I will attune the bow to make it better. And I can perfect the bow, but I now don't have shards to create more armor. So how can we get these shards? I'll just drop this to create armor a little bit later, and we're gonna go catch the fish already. So I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need that, and I will need this. So, okay, let's find fish. Let's get full inventory of fish going right now. Um, so we have this right here. I'm also gonna be drinking the final energy, uh, I mean, energy null potion here. You usually catch 4p. I, I think it's always 4 fish per uh, per spawn. So, um, is there anything here? There is. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And guess what I forgot to do again? I forgot to buy a crystal. Which is slightly unfortunate. I've done it again. Um, I recommend you when it's 1 minute left. And if you're not yet used to things. Uh, that at that point you then uh, decide to... Um, at that point, you should then decide to go back. Um, there we go, we got that done. Which way are we going? We're going up here, because we haven't unlocked this yet. And also, if you have a strong bow like that, you can kill stuff while you run. Um, and then see if they drop something useful for you. Okay, so let's find some fish. I probably missed some, I'm just kind of not paying too much attention. I'm trying to find another uh, boss, medium boss, but I'm not really lucky with it. Oh, there it is. Found him. Um, probably not worth killing because I already have the upgrade that it drops. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to receive any good drop right now. But let's give it a shot. Look how strong the bow is at the moment. It's kind of insane. It's kind of insane. I'm going to kill the scorpion as well. And yeah, would you look at that? I got crystal orb though. Wait, never mind. See, I was wrong. You can get an upgrade and this is an upgrade to the staff. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, but and we got a teleport crystal as I mentioned earlier. You can get those as well, but I really need to catch some more fish right now. I probably missed so many fishes already. It's kind of insane because I don't have much time left. I'm like, okay, there's more fish that I can get here. It's kind of I'm much slower when I do this and commentate. It's kind of insane. But I don't think we're we're gonna be alright. I don't know. I might not get like full gear upgrade, which would be a bit of a shame, but I think I'll be fine. If I could just find one more fishing spot real quick. Okay, I'm not killing another boss. See, for this one, you pray mage, and against the bear, you obviously pray um, the other thing. 
I might have to just dip right now unless I find a quick fishing spot. It would be a bit awkward if I have like a minute left and don't actually find the spot. There we go. We're gonna fish this one till the end and then we're gonna be a little bit quick. Uh, I usually do things a bit faster, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I guess when you live commentate, things do slow down a little bit. There we go, we have everything we wanted to do. We're gonna drop what we do not need. Boom, drop. We're gonna come here, we're gonna upgrade our gear. Boom. We're gonna drop some food very quickly. Cause... Ah, oh, this might be a bit sketchy. Nah, I think we'll be fine, I think we'll be alright. Okay, so I wanna make legs first. Okay, um, and now I need to pick the rest actually. Okay, body. Yep, attune that. I don't need this, I don't know why I picked it up. And then attune something else as well, attune the legs. And now I just need to... Yeah, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. 30 seconds is more than enough. You need th about 30 seconds to do the entire inventory. So if you just do click by click, boom, you can cook food really, really fast. And right now you're gonna have good enough gear to the point where things like the boss should not kill you if you do it correctly. And if you go into it with the setup that we have right now, we really should not have a problem completing it. And it starts with uh, magic protect, so we're gonna hit it with magic. It does hit, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I feel like it hits four times with magic, then four times with range. The big blue one, I feel like it's magic, and then after here, he's gonna switch to range, in my opinion. And this one, I think it's range. This could be wrong, um, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it is. So, there we go, we're just ranging right now, because he's praying magic. And I think now he's gonna start hitting me with magic, there it is. I was late on the switch there, doesn't really matter. There we go, back to magic. When this happens, when he smashes the floor like that, he's gonna summon the purple lights. You wanna run away from those, and you also don't wanna step on the tiles, obviously, if that wasn't clear enough. You do not wanna stand on the tiles, because they will damage you a lot, and you also do not wanna be running under the boss, because if you do, it's gonna start hitting you by a lot, it's gonna melee smash you, it's like budget corp, pretty much, so you don't wanna run under it. And you wanna be healthy, you wanna be healthy, I'm not really exactly too healthy this run, you do wanna be Pretty fucking healthy. And when the, he spawns this, I personally like to run from corner to corner. Also, I wasn't playing correctly there, so I got smacked a 40. Which should be illegal, but it happened. Um, there we go, just run some circles. That was magic again, I believe. There it is. Another magic hit. Usually, I like to eat when I hit with magic. Because my range weapon deals the most damage. So that's how I want, want to do things. And I also like to kind of sit on the corner of the room, like so. So if he's damaging the corner like this, I like to sit like right on the edge, because it usually just alternates between... It's like weird, it like alternates between like corners and stuff. So it's praying mage right now, it's kinda smacking me a little bit. You see how I like to do the corners like so? I feel like if you do it like this, it's kind of easier. But I got hit really hard there. Um, maybe I'm praying wrong. Okay, yeah, those are definitely range hits. That was my bad. Um, it's kind of hard to commentate and do it, but we should be finishing it off here. As you can see, with that setup, you will have extra inventory spots. You'll have so much food. You'll have really good gear. Like, you have, you're gonna have a tuned armor. It's gonna be easy for you to complete the run. Let's see the reward. I've done five so far. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be improving as I go along. We got three crystal shards. 202, 202 Chaos Runes and 1 Rune Halberd. So in 5k C, if you want a little bit of a price check, we are getting about 400k. So about 100k per 10 minutes, unless you can do it faster. Sounds about right. I really do hope you guys did enjoy this video. A little bit of a walkthrough, um, kind of just putting my thoughts out there. If you wanna, if you are, if you're struggling or something, this can definitely help you out. In the future, I might return to the video, make it a little bit better, make it more you know, once I know more things about it, I'll make, you know, a better guide if we can say say so. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'll put some highlights of the actual quest line and all the priftiness, maybe for tomorrow's video. But I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, a simple like goes a long way. And I'll see you again tomorrow with more, more brief content. Have a good one and bye-bye.